So they've basically used the Aboriginal people for their knowledge and that to actually find the best pearling grounds. Yeah, and then they created these municipal boundaries, um, which was the official term basically for a, well, Uncle Jimmy will call it the common gate. Um, and it was originally to keep vermin out. Um, and unfortunately, back in those days, uh, Aboriginal people were, were sort of pretty much classified as vermin. So despite using all their labour and all their expertise, um, they were still sort of kicked to the side and not allowed to be amongst the, uh, the riches of the pearling industry. See, even right up till the 70s, we weren't allowed to do things. I come back from um, doing my tour of duty, and I wasn't even allowed to go to um, any of these public areas to come back to Broome, and I couldn't even get a beer at the Roebuck. It was just, uh, so this is how the old people must have felt. Mm. The same sort of understanding. Traditional owners were forced off their country and denied basic rights, but they were integral to the success of Broome's pearling industry. Working as boat builders and sailors, shell sorters and graders, companies thrived as a direct result of indigenous labour. Just imagine, Aboriginal people live here as well as a lot of Asian people used to live here too. So you grew up here? I did, yeah. yeah. Yaru men, Jimmy Edgar and Bart Pigram, have a family history that is woven through Broome's pearling past. When you were here, was that when they were still pearling? Uh, our ending of it. The end, just close. I'd say the ending of it because they were still bringing people from overseas and that to do pearl work. Yeah. And the lugs were still around. These shells come from all over these mud flats. So this mound is basically thousands of years of shells? Yeah, um, at least 1,000. Uh, we could go back several thousand. Um, but uh, it, it, that sort of tells us our ancient uh, presence and occupation here. Because Aboriginal people, our mob, our ancestors, walked out at low tide, collected them for food source. Yeah. And so the pearls were, were around when you were younger, the demand for pearls begun. Our valuation in pearl shell is quite different. I used to ask my dad and them, what do you do with the pearl? Oh, we play with them and chuck them away. And I say, where? Oh, there somewhere. 